U.S. Navy's at the helm. This is Mission Control Houston. Please call station for a voice check. Station, this is U.S. Navy's at the helm. How do you read me? At the helm, welcome aboard to the International Space Station. I have you loud and clear. Copy. Hey, good morning, Captain. Good morning. How you doing there, Austin? I'm good. I'm good. How are you, sir? I want to. I want to say it's an honor to speak with you this morning. Glad to be with anyone uh, from from the Navy today. It's a fine Navy day on the, on the ground as it is here uh, in orbit. Yes, sir. That's good to hear. So, just a brief background for the audience, because the audience will see will be seeing you through video, and they will be seeing me through video when it's produced. Uh, a little back background about you. You spent 11 years as a member of the U.S. Navy SEAL team, and in 2004, you were selected as a NASA astronaut. And you're currently serving as commander aboard the International Space Station. So that's a very, that's a pretty aggressive switch. Did you always want to be an astronaut, or did you always want to be a Navy SEAL? How did that switch come to be? Yeah, that's a good question. So um, I, I entered the Naval, Naval Academy without any, any knowledge, really, about SEAL teams or astronaut. And uh, w during my four years in Annapolis is when I learned about the SEALs and how do you, how do you get there and what does BUDS mean and, and all of that. And it wasn't until I was several years into my SEAL career where I did the same with uh, astronaut and astronaut selection, and I learned about the process and I met a few uh, other astronauts, one in particular, Bill Shepard, who was the commander of the space station on Expedition One, and uh, and and so that's kind of how uh, I got a little bit interested. I really loved my job in the SEAL teams, but it was uh, I realized, hey, it's it'd be kind of cool to try. Why not try to become an astronaut? If it works out great, if it doesn't, I continue my my job in the, in the SEAL community. So um, that's as simple as as an answer as I can give you because it was pretty simple. So it was just kind of. Like the flip, flip of a switch, you saw it and you're like, oh, well, that would be kind of cool, and you just kind of went for it. Yeah, exactly. You know, there's so many cool programs in the Navy. No matter what um, community or rating you're in, there's there's uh, cool opportunities out there for everybody. And and uh, I just saw one, and it and it worked out. And uh, I encourage everybody to to kind of keep their head on a swivel and look for opportunities. And and what makes uh, uh, what makes the world great is you can take you can go through doors when they open. Yes, sir. I completely agree with that. And you know, being a Navy SEAL and then becoming a NASA astronaut, there is there's a huge level of success with that. So, how would you define success to someone someone else? Yeah, that's a good question too. I, I in my mind. It's, it's not so much about the results, although results matter, but it's about the effort and the level of preparation that one puts into it. If you set out to make rate or enter uh, college or get into a program and you do everything that you possibly can to achieve that, if it doesn't happen, that's okay because you did everything on your, within your control. So, so in my mind, success is sort of assessing what's in front of you tackling all of the challenges that you can control, mitigating the risks of things that you can't control, and then just the process will be what it is. Now, it's, it, that doesn't uh, mean that it won't be disappointing if the end result isn't the same, but you can really sleep soundly if you know that you put 100% into uh, that path. Yes, sir, I agree with that. I, I tell people that it's important to know how to pivot because if you've done everything in your power and it, it doesn't turn out the way you want it, it's important to, uh, to be able to pivot mentally from that. So Yeah, that's exactly right. And just think, think about it. just one final thought on that. If you think about any military operation, you know, that there's a plan that uh, is executed until the, the, it's often said, until the first contact with the enemy. And then you have what-if contingencies and you, and you move out from there. And it, it, the very same thing applies in life, just like you said, Austin.